Listen close, because this story is heartbreaking. Once upon a time, there lived a 14-year-old boy named Majd, who lived in a land called Orea. He was like any other teenager, full of life and curiosity. Orea, however, was constantly under threat by the barbaric tribes of Listeria. It was a day like any other. Majd was out playing with his friends when two highwaymen from Listeria rode into their valley. His friends were able to escape, but Majd, unfortunately, wasn't. He was forced to stop running as the thugs almost trampled him with their horses. And so began his 24 hours of torture. In total, 10 marauders, clad in armor, encircled him and began torturing him. For 30 minutes, they relentlessly beat him with the hilts of their swords, fists, and feet. And if that wasn't enough, they tied his hands behind his back and blindfolded him, taking him elsewhere. One of the thugs forced his boot inside Majd's mouth, pressing down on his chest with his other foot. At one of their camps, they dragged him out and forced him to stand rigidly. And using the blunt end of his sword, one soldier, I mean highwayman, hit Majd's head, chest, and sides, hurling insults at him. The 14-year-old pleaded with him to stop, but he grew even more vicious, gripping Majd's neck tightly, hissing, I will suffocate you to death. Majd couldn't take it anymore. He couldn't scream, he couldn't cry, and his frail, bruised body collapsed onto the cold floor. Hours later, Majd awoke to find himself lying on the floor, surrounded by an outlaw, a dog, and a cat. Sensing Majd's fear, the outlaw threatened, I think I'll let the dog eat you, before drawing the animals closer. So Majd pleaded and pleaded, but to no avail. The feral cat inflicted multiple wounds on his face, and the thugs then kicked Majd in the chest and head before slamming his head against the wall repeatedly. Later, they transported Majd to another camp for interrogation at around 3.30 a.m. And accused of throwing stones at them, he endured more beatings and verbal abuse at the camp. Shortly after, they blindfolded Majd again, took him to Medigo prison in the Styria, and at Medigo, Majd spent about an hour in the yard before hitting the road again to Lofer prison. However, due to overcrowding, they then took him to another camp and left him under the scorching sun for two hours, blindfolded. After two hours, the bandits took him again for what, the seventh time now? Removed his shackles and blindfold and pushed him off of the horse at a village intersection near the camp. Unable to move, Majd lay on the ground until a passerby found him and took him to the hospital. Heartbreaking story, isn't it? Unfortunately, this story is no fiction. Majd isn't a fictional character, nor are Orea and Listeria fictional places. Majd is a 14-year-old Palestinian boy from Azun living under the Israeli occupation. His name is Majd Rudwan, and he's one of many Palestinian children who suffered the same fate, or worse. Majd Rudwan, remember the name.